the Tech Temple. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Wise Man White at thetechtemple.com. Here I am with the review of the LG G4. I just wanted to show you that um, that video came with the G4 showing off the IPS Quantum display. Um, QHD is what they call it. It is a gorgeous display. That's one of the first things I, I noticed when I got this phone. So let's get into the specs. This is a 5.5 um, inch IPS Quantum display, they call it the QHD screen. Um, it's five and a half, so I can't um, reach my finger all the way up and having a little trouble with that. But LG has put some stuff in the software to kind of remedy that, so I'll show you the, well, that a little bit later. Um, 16 megapixel camera in the rear, and the front right here is an 8 megapixel. So it takes really good selfies if you like to take selfies. Um, got the um, earpiece and the microphones down here. And we also have the USB port, which is nice on LG's charger. That you know how this one is, you have to depend on which way you want to put the uh, the cord because you know I always put it upside down. LG's charger has um, a surface texture on the top, so you know which way the top, so you plug it in correctly. So I appreciate that. Um, and it also is a removable battery, so I took the liberty of already um, taking it apart for you because it's hard just to do it in the beginning. Um, 3,000 milliamp battery. And right now, if you go ahead and try to get one, you can, uh, uh-oh, we got a call coming in, let's decline that. You can hear my computer in the background also, well that was unexpected. I love Google, computer and the phone. Um, so, as I was saying before, <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. Uh, so before, if you want to get another battery, you can go ahead and sign up right now if you just bought this and send them your proof of purchase. You get another battery, and you also get a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which goes right here. I have my SIM card in there. Another fantastic thing about this phone, if you have a lot of storage or need a lot of storage, this phone will fit up to a two terabyte card. Ridiculous. I don't know who would ever need that, or but the fact that you can actually do that is awesome. Um, here's a speaker down here. I know on the case it looks like it's tiny. There's just on the actual case there is a speaker grill. But the speaker is that big. So I'll go ahead and snap this back on so it doesn't fall off during the rest of the review. And just snaps on just like that. Got that on. Got that all back. Okay. So in order to, um, if you want to take the case off in the beginning, there is a little right here. You just use that and take it off. And uh, you can put your thumbnail or your clip or whatever to get that off. Um, so no buttons on the sides at all, which is just, I thought it was going to be weird, but I actually kind of like it now. Buttons on the back. So there's the power button in the middle and the up and down volume. And we have the flash and we have the camera right here. See it's nice and big, 16 megapixel camera. And also you can use uh, this to as a remote for your TV just like you can on the HTC phone series. Um, so software wise I like boom boom turns it on right there. Um, doesn't matter what uh, launcher you use it always turns on that way. You can also press the button but I like that better. You can also double tap turn it back off. If you use Nova Launcher or another launcher you want to use the status bar to turn it, um, turn it off. Turn it back on. Yeah. So I'm going to go over the just the home screen real fast. Um, on the side, it does have kind of like blink feed. They call it smart bulletin. If you are one of the health fitness people who like to track their progress and walking, how much they walk every day, um, there's an app for you right there. You just go ahead and open it, and you put in your gender and your birth and your height and your weight, and it'll give you all those kind of goodies. Schedule real fast. I got nothing coming up right here. Show you your music. If you want to hear the speakers really quickly.
And that's not bad for, I mean, that's a pretty good speaker. I think it's very good. It's not as bassy as, you know, M7, M8, M9, but it's pretty good and pretty loud. Um, for whatever reason, I can't get this widget to work. It only works with stuff you have stored, so that's why you can get that 2 terabyte card, so you can play all the music from there. It does have smart settings. So smart settings are um, things LG software has incorporated. So let's say you're leaving home. It'll know to turn off Wi-Fi. You're coming back home. It'll know to turn back Wi-Fi on based on your location. So then there, right there, you can set those. Um, like I said, it's a remote. You can use this as a remote. And if you have some other, um, here's a camera, and here's tells you stuff about the IPS Quantum HD display, like I said before. Um, if you want to, oh, I'm sorry, it turns it on, turns it off. Um, hold the home screen, kind of carousel view up here. You could put, um, I just have three right now. And these are the apps from the um, app drawer. So it's kind of nice if you want to look at it that way, but that's a long time, so I'd rather just press that and look at them all like that. Um, what is nice about the icons is, let's say you don't like this gallery icon, you can hold it. And you can change icons to whatever you want to. Or if you have another icon set pack, you want to download it from the Play Store, you can do it that way. I love the customization that they did with this. Um, also, as far as the apps go, it also lets you do dual apps. So uh, if I want to look at the internet, and I would also like to um, check out my calendar. So I'm looking at an event and trying to say, hey, what's going on in my area? I can also look at my calendar, see what I got available. And I can also type in the background things. What's going on? That's nice. And it also works on video too. So this phone has a uh, Qualcomm processor in it. It's working great. So it even works. So let's go to video. I'm going to show you real fast. I mean, I have all these videos up right now. This is a concert I went to not too long ago. I got three screens up right now, and I'm just going through fine. You can change the opacity. You can close them. That's pretty cool. If you like to do things um, multitask, we're a super multitasker. You can do that. So it does come with Android 5.1, so you're not going to be behind. It shouldn't it just came out? So it has three gigabytes of RAM. So, every, so that's why you can do what I just showed you. Every now and then, for whatever reason, the phone does slow down and it's not very responsive. I was reading and they're supposed to come up with an update for it. Um, but for now, I've just been kind of restarting the phone every day. Um, here's their weather widget, which is not available if you use Nova Launcher or another launcher, which is kind of odd. Um, but it does tell you, you know, if it's going to rain at night. So I'm going to take an umbrella. Um, to get the smart cards and uh, home touch buttons. So you can change these buttons. Uh, I, when I first got it, it only came with three. You can go into these settings, and we're all jumping to the settings real fast. And you can go to the home screen. Uh, oh, that's not the right place. There's two different settings on here. That's why I'm kind of like having trouble. Off screen display. I'll find one of these home touch buttons. So here's a button combination. So if you want to change it, if you want to do a quick memo, you can just drag it up there, and it'll change the button down there. See that? Um, but I don't want that. I want notification. Oh, so that's nice that they give you the option. You know, normally you can't do that except for on ROMs. So that's pretty cool. Then to let you even do that, you can change. You can make this white, or you can make it black. So if you want to make it white, I'll just show you. You can make it white. Or grayish, so that's that. I'm not gonna go into too much in the home screen and all the detail because I don't want this video to be forever. But I will make some other videos that are going more in depth as far as doing the home screen and the widgets and the camera because I know a lot of people want to know more about it. But I don't, don't want to make this uh, too long. So you can change the font. I'm Roboto, Travel, Fox Train, and Pure White. There's more. And one other issue I have with this, if you want to get some more, right? LG has a thing called LG Smart World. But if you're in the USA, it, you have no option. Like there is no option for USA. There's Australia, Brazil, France, India, Indonesia. I tried to like get around it, and you you just can't. Um, maybe somebody else has another way around it. If you do, leave them in the comments, and I'll try it out. But I just can't. So you can. There's other keyboard colors you can get, and all these other things. But because I'm in the U.S., I can't get it. So that is my two knocks. Um, the smart world, and then sometimes the phone slows down for whatever reason.
those are my two things. But here's uh, the settings. Um, I like the sound that it comes with. Here's the smart settings I was talking about. Um, if you're at home, you want to turn the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth on or off. Um, what happens when you plug in your earphones? Those are the kind of things that I like to see companies do um, to make themselves stand out from the other ones. Um, it does have a cleaning app. So let's say you're getting low on space. And like right now, um, I have 15 gigs. And if you want to clear out the space, as soon as this comes down, gets finished loading, you can just go ahead and hit the button. Right now, I can free up 1.2 gigabytes just for um, letting it clean up. I'm not going to do that right now. But that way, you don't have to go find another app and search out and delete. Oh, do I want to keep these pictures or not? You can do that just right there. Um, dual window, I already showed you that you can do a dual window. Um, you can have multiple users. So if you have a, a child that likes to use your phone sometimes, you can switch um, the users. But they also have the kid mode on here. Kid mode is right there. And one thing I do like also about the LG, like I said, the phone was too big for me, but so let's say if I want to compose an email, as you can see right now, this is how it comes regular. This is LG's, G, LG's keyboard, and if you want to just use your left hand to type, you swipe over and it makes the keyboard smaller. So now I can do whatever I will need to do and then press done, and I can still type. Or if you're left handed, you can do the same way. If you want to use your right hand, the same thing. The only issue is when you're swiping across the keyboard, it thinks you are activating the keyboard to make it larger when really I'm just trying to do swipe. So you might want to peck instead. Um, but it is cool that it gives you that option to do that. And call quality is very good. Um, I've, I've been amazed at how clear this thing is. Um, I was you hear the speakerphone real fast. Let me dial a number. Don't know what you to see who I'm dialing. So I'll put this on speaker. I like the big keys. Here's a picture. You can go to your contacts as you're listening to it. So I'm going to go back to it. Beer for you. With home phone, wireless service, high speed internet, and all your entertainment needs. Visit us. Well, speaker's good. I like the way the interface looks. Um, speakerphone is fine. Mute. Bluetooth. The dial pad again. Like I said, I like that it's nice and big. Let's hang up right there. Um, I got a voicemail. Oh, smart card. Let's check what this is. So I got two calls from, oh, because I called this number twice, it thinks that um, this would be a frequent call, and it says, hey, do you want to add it to your contacts? Well, that's cool. I like that, LG. Props to you on that for doing that. I like you did that. On um, the browser I like, I've been using this browser more than I have um, Chrome. I like that it has the back and the front already there, and the screen is so big that it's not taking up too much um, space, and you can share from here. And I can also see my tabs from here. I opened up a new tab or see tabs I've been looking at, which also looks like um, the normal tabs. This is the recent, so if you want to close them, these are the recent things I've opened. You can clear all for those of you who enjoy clear all, because I know you're out there. There is a clear all. So you can clear all those apps that you don't like. Um, since we're talking about the internet, let's go ahead and go to the internet speed. I'm on T-Mobile's network. Um, when I first got it, I had to configure some APNs. I think that's because I got LG to send me this phone. I think if you buy it straight from T-Mobile, you should be fine. But I got pretty good speeds. I've had no problems, no issues out, out of there when I've been outside. Right now, I'm getting like a little slow. But before I was getting in the 20s, I'll show you my results after this thing is finished. Um, other things I talk about, yeah, 10. I've got double that. I'll show you the result. Um, we're talking about this battery life. I've had pretty good battery life. It gets you through a day, um, especially charging. Charging is really quick. Um, I've gone from, I think, maybe like two, two and a half hours to charge it. And even if I just need to charge it, go out for, the, for a couple hours, like it doesn't take long at all. Here's my results. Um, that was the one you just saw, but as you can see right here, not too long before that, I got 22.43. So the speed, internet speed is very good. Well, I told you about the charging. It comes with a nice white charger. It does charge very quickly, which I like that. Um, it's the only problems that I have with the phone are sometimes it slows down. And oh, text messages for whatever reason you cannot um, do group text messaging in the default app, but you can get another app like Textra. It'll let you do that. You can go ahead and do that. Let's talk about the camera. Um, the camera is wonderful. So right now I have it in simple mode. 
um, this lets you tap on the screen and then you can just do it that way there's also auto mode so you can show you some more options you can zoom in you know I mean that's still pretty clear for zooming in there's my nice little Mickey clock I have um, then you just type that but if you're like really an advanced user and you want to get into like super super specs um, there is manual mode and you can see all these other modes that you can have um, in the camera like I don't even know what all these mean but if you're one of the camera people and you want a camera that gives you all those options to do all that um, you can do that with this phone and the camera the pictures are lovely let me go to the app um, oh really quick um, speaking of the camera so let's say you're at a concert or something or you want, don't want to miss a moment for your kids you just pull this out of your pocket double tap this and it takes the picture um, it's way faster when it's not a manual, but it's, and all I did was double tap that. And also, if you have a quick note, you double tap the up button. And you can write a note right there. So I like that. And while we're speaking on the camera, um, the thing is amazing. And I want to show you one picture that I took. See if I can find it in the gallery. I do like their gallery. The gallery is pretty nice. Um, and when you go down here, it goes by old stuff. I was at a wedding last weekend, so that's why you see a lot of wedding pictures. Um, here's one I took at Panera. I don't know if I have the thing on or not. Yeah. Um, I took at Panera when I first got the phone. Um, I will post this so, so you can see the actual like clarity of it and how clear it is. But especially in the daylight, um, this when you have the right when you have any kind of light, this phone like everything, like, everything is popping on this thing. Like that is ridiculous, and it is incredibly impressive for a phone to do that. So I just had to show that off um, real quick. And it does have the quick setting, so if you want to do a quick memo that way, you can do that. Sound, all interruptions. Um, the interruptions thing, if, you, if priority only means people in your favorites and only certain apps, you can set those to only bother you when priority is on. Or if you want no interruptions at all, which is what I put on when I'm sleeping. But the only thing is the alarm doesn't work either. You cannot move the order of these. I've tried. You cannot move the order of these. I wish you could. But if you hold them, it takes you to the quick settings uh, of that of that actual setting. Oh, hold on, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't. I just found that. You can um, move those. So I'm going to do that because I don't like to have quick memo on the very first one. So you can edit that. And like I said before, if you don't like, if you have smaller hands um, and you want to get, it's kind of hard to reach all the way up there with the thumb to be... Uh, it's comfortable. You can also I set one of these on the bottom, and all I do is press the bottom this button, and it takes it up and down. So LG has done a lot of things software-wise. I like that. Um, one thing I'm in particular that I like is the lock screen. Um, I don't have mine turned on, so let me turn it on. Um, swipe to unlock. And one of the what I was using was a light particle. So let's turn it off. Turn it on. So there you can see you can also opt to have your email or your name on there in case you lose your phone. Um, you can, here's the icons if you want to go real quick. Um, you can change these to whatever you want to. So if you you can take out your pocket and make a call, do it that way. Um, but I do like these little, as you can see, it makes the sound in a little that turns off again. Um, but I do like the little animations for that. And there's a whole bunch of them. Um, not a whole bunch, there's a few. Um, hula hoop. Turn the phone off. So there's some fun little things, you know, just to make the phone a little different. So I do appreciate that. So I gave you the review. Um, I really like this phone. If you're looking to get this phone, I would definitely get it. Um, especially if you're a camera person and you like to take pictures all the time. They are great. And it even has a cloud feature in here that you can um, go ahead and upload all your things to the cloud. Um, you don't need LG Smart World to do that. And got a lot, of, a lot of cool animations, everything. I would say go ahead and get this phone. Um, very, very incredibly nice display. Um, the sound is very good. Call quality is excellent. Bigger phone is very good. And even the front um, camera. And Megapixel is very good. If you have any other questions or things that I did not cover, um, let me know. 
I will go ahead and do a more in-depth video. I'm going to do more in-depth on you know, the keyboard, um, the actual more settings in the software that I didn't have time to go through today. Um, I know people want to see the camera, so I'm definitely going to go over the camera. So go overhead, go ahead and um, LG G4. Um, this is called the um, the metallic version. If you want more of a white version, they have one called Ceramic Craft. And if you don't like either of those two, there is also leather, which is like genuine leather backs for these. And if right now, if you buy one, you can get another one for free. So go ahead. This is uh, Wise Man White with the LG G4. I co-sign on this phone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Wise Man White at thetechtemple.com. I'll see you guys later. The Tech Temple.